dude. I just came from my science class, you'll never guess all the cool stuff I learned. Um, I'm in your science class. Oh, didn't know about that. Well, I found out in that class, that I'm blonde, metallic bond. Why is your name Bond? Cause your girlfriend and I bond very well. I didn't have to know that. So you wanna know why I'm really a metallic bond? What is metallic bond? Don't you know? It is the type of chemical bonding which occurs between metals. As metals lose their electrons easily, each atom releases a specific amount of electrons which is equal to their valencies. In this way electrons are bonded with several atoms rather than one. Each electron holds two or more than two atoms together. I kind of get it. Oh, and I thought in chemical bonding, they have a particular structure. Yes. For metallic bonding, the structure of it is a lattice of positive ions surrounded by a sea of mobile electrons. Okay. But why don't I experience this more often in everyday life? Because metallic bonding is a rare occurrence. How is it related to metals? The metallic bond accounts for many physical characteristics of metals, such as strength, malleability, ductility, conduction of heat and electricity, and luster. Any metal you hold in your hand is held together with flexible metallic bonds. These bonds are what enable metal to be both malleable and ductile. Since when did you get so smart? Since I got a 100% in all my subjects. Show off. Okay. So what's so important about metallic bonding? It shows the reaction when two metals form a compound. Then what are some examples of metallic bonding in real life? In an experimental situation, a copper wire is a good example. Compare the wire to a water balloon. If you thump one end of the balloon the other wiggles. The energy of the thump is carried to the other side of the balloon because the water molecules can flow and move around each other. The electrons in the wire behave much the same way. How about some of the examples of the elements? Copper, zinc, sodium, lithium, francium, iron, cobalt, calcium, magnesium, silver, gold, barium. Platinum, chromium are some. Metals that can bond to each other. Yes. Ah, I understand now. Ooh ha ha ha, bond metallic bond, I get it now. It is like the most interesting thing you said in a while. Out of all the explanations, you get the meaning of my name? Yes, I did, 